Okay, everybody. We've got uh, part two. Um, you can listen to part one. It, uh, it'll have, sorry, it's not part two. This is, it's just uh, the US edition on how to um, change the birth date and the surname on the citizenship you use. And um, it's sort of a part one in that I'm not going to reread all these letters that we did because you can kind of take your understanding from what we did in the Canada one and write your letters accordingly here. So here, I mean, you know, the US policy, you know, issuing certificates and changing dates of birth and names, all right? This is well understood what you can do, all right? And so we're actually inside chapter four where you can actually do the date of birth, no clerical error. So if there's no clerical error, you're changing the date of birth. Um, it's just, you, you know, can you understand how that even exists? How do you have, how do you change birth when there's no clerical error, right? Like this is obviously what you can do here because the law must provide remedy. So or else you'd be a slave, right? And that's just like not righteous. And so um, we're getting straight right on into there, the general request to replace the citizenship is the uh, form N565. Um, a person may request uh, the replacement without fee in cases where you see a uh, USI certificate does not conform to the supportable facts on the applicant's citizenship or naturalization ap application. That's where you're at, okay? So because you fit in that category, you don't have to pay anything. Um, so let's just kind of go ahead and do the form N65. Um, did we do it online or... Did we download it there, Tony? Oh, man. Um, uh, that's a good question. Oh, there it is. Wait. Um, well, we did it both. There I, it is. We could do it online. Yeah, absolutely. There is the form. That's what you did, right, Tony? That's yeah, I, I still minute. have it up, actually. I'm going to do the other ones. All right. Um, and so it's pretty straightforward. You're putting... The stuff that's on your document as it exists right now, you know, the last name, you know, all your information there. The, the date of birth as it exists on citizenship right there. Uh, the country of birth, uh, if it's not American or American, just put all your information in here, the certificate number, which you don't have, right? We put NA for that, right? You know what? I think we put a number from the uh, birth certificate just for... Uh... All oh, right, 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 right. Check what your document did. What's we doing? Right. Um, we put a document number on there. Yeah, I do recall that. Uh, let me just check. It's still up here. I just let me click it. Up. Unless I close it. I don't. I don't think we actually, this has to do if you actually have a citizenship more than anything else, my understanding. But I think we just like shoved in a number. <laughs> it is NA, it is NA, forgive me. It is NA, okay, so I thought so. Um, and there's no NA, it's NA over here for alien. Um, okay, so there's, you're mailing it, uh, you know, information here, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, we want a new uh, certificate of uh, citizenship. Uh, the basis of the application was uh, right there. It's other, right? Is that what you did? Is that what we put down there? For sure, that's what we did. Which part? I'm sorry, I was looking at the uh, part two. Part two. What what number? Uh, 
part two. Can you cannot see my screen? No, I was looking. I brought up the application so I could re refer to it in case there was any you see question. We're on part two of the application here on my screen. Yeah, I see it. So we chose uh, two. Oh, right, right. Um, I didn't, I didn't click anything on there. What? I there's nothing uh, even checked on G, right? Right. No, you don't have G collected. It's, it's blank. Okay. Well, we got to definitely choose something here. But D okay. and E, D and E were chosen. My D. E? Yes. Oh, that's what we chose. Okay, that has the error because I didn't notice that there. That's what we did. Okay. We chose those there. Make sense? Yes. Perfect. Good call. DNA. I should have read that myself. Those are the two. We're changing the, the um, and this is going to be other stated issue. Uh, uh, other state issue documents are what the reason we're doing this. <coughs> Um, so anyways, we don't need G on that there. Um, put your gender in here, put your information as you need to put it. Uh, we didn't have anything issued to us, so this is NA, right? This is all NA, right? Four, five, and six, we're all NA, right? Wait a minute, are you talking about part three? Part three. Yeah. Four is the state of New Jersey. The last certificate or declaration was issued to me by. Oh, right. You guys get it from the courts, don't you? Yes. So I forgot in the U.S. birth certificates are, are gotten at the court. So he put down where he got his last birth certificate from. That was the court, and then you put the date in there, right? Yes, the no. date, the the, the proper uh, revised the date. Name in which the document was issued. You put yes. your name. Issued date. Yes. Right. So uh, the name, name as it is spelled on the birth certificate, the number six. As spelled on the birth certificate, fantastic. And other names I've used. We didn't put anything in here, right? And an NA. Yes, we did. I we did. I did. What'd you put in here? Yeah, and give a name, John Doe, whatever. All oh, right, fantastic place to put that in there. That's right. Good pick in there. Um, since becoming a citizen, see, I'm glad you're here for this one. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Having become a citizen, have you lost or renounced your citizenship in any manner? No, right. What is that number eight? Yeah. No, we, we added an attachment to that with an explanation. Did we say yes? Yes. Oh, right, because there's sort of a renouncing, but it's not really. It's, it's yes and no, the answer on the So document. yes is like our, um, this is where on your note, this is where we uh, release all of that. Our, all adverse things. Is that the, the, the letter you wrote? Yeah, we have an explanation. Um, I'm trying you to, to read it out for the U.S. then. Um, yes. Uh, question eight. Yes and no. It has come to our attention that we are we as a family are under the living God, Jesus Christ and have no oblig have an obligation excuse me to not be surety for the legal name or create an image slash idol of ourselves thus we must separate our living birth dates from the legal name and replace it with the issuing date of the legal name and therefore thereby ending the surety ship we are also correcting the surname to reflect our marriage to jesus christ and our declaration of nationhood in the kingdom of new jerusalem this ends our surety ship and citizenship 
as we are strangers who sojourn on the land and shall remain beneficial user of person as we do not accept and are conscientious objectors to being seen as a person. Thus we are persona non grata. Jesus is our redeemer and surety as only mere beneficial users without exclusive right or ownership will be properly surrendering our birth certificate slash estate slash child and hereditary revenues to the state after this process. This will be done via note of the establishment of diplomatic missions and consular posts as ambassadors for Jesus Christ in the U.S. Amen. So Deuteronomy. You do something along those lines. Oh, yeah, please put those quotes in. What is it? Sorry. Deuteronomy 117, Exodus 24, Isaiah 45, 4, Revelation 19, 7, Matthew 28, 18 to 20, Leviticus 25, Leviticus 25 to 48, excuse me, Hebrews 7 to 20, 7, 24. 22, forgive me, 722 Hebrews. And that was it. Cool. And so you keep that all in one note, and that's your response for question eight, and you just attach it to behind page two of uh, your seven there, and you file it with your document there. Uh, complete if applying to correct your document for your apply for new certificate or declaration of intent because your current one is incorrect. Please and attach copies of any documents supporting a request. So what do we do for this one here? That number four? Yes. All right. The birth certificate has two birth dates. This is what's written. In and there. so this is like on a separate page that we're. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Yes, it or is. It on in there. It's page two of seven or three of seven. I'm not sure. It's at the bottom of the number. So it's three of seven. Do we fit it in here? What do you mean fit in here? The response here for this. Um. Yes, that's what we did. It fits inside the thing. Would you like me to read it or do you? Yeah, well, it's always taken up half the line, so. Perfect, so it fits inside here. You don't need to attach anything extra, but yeah. So right. It fits in there, sorry. Tell them what it fits in there. All right, it says the birth certificate has two birth dates, comma. The first being the living man, the second being the birth date, issue date, registration date, as our obligations now, this is crossed out for some reason, it said, as our obligations to Jesus Christ, I am ending the suretyship of the legal name by removing from the citizenship that I used the birth date of the living man and replacing it with the birth date slash registration date of the legal person. There you go. Now, I, I, I don't recall when we did, well, did this, but uh, there's a line going through the, one of these set, the obligations to Jesus Christ, like, you know, like if you were doing a contract sort of thing, cross it out. Yeah, well, I didn't put that, no, just fix well, that. <laughs> I don't do that all works with that. Okay, just I don't know how that happened. But. Accidental fucking. Number five, marriage or divorce checked in my case. Depending on what your scenario is, you'll add it in here. Uh, complete if applying for a new certificate because of the date of birth changed. And then you're going to go, oh, yes, date issued document. And then you're going to put uh, the date that you're going to change it. You're going to write it in your, this is, you can't fill it in here, so you do as far as you can with a hand fill it, you know, ticking all the boxes and what you can't like actually fill it in. You have to actually write the date in there. So put the date in there. Did you apply any extra notes inside there? No, no need to, right? No. You just explained it right there. What was this date for the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the birth date, date? Or change on the citizenship. So the new this is complete if applying for a new certificate of citizenship because of date of birth change. So it's not a court order. We're going to do it by state issued document. And then just put the date you want in there. So, so this is 
get the new date, the one you're changing yeah. to. You have, yeah, you, because he's going to print it out now, and he's going to, this is what he actually has on his file, and he's about to print it out, so he hasn't actually written the date in there just yet. He's going to this week. It doesn't let me actually. You can't type anything in there. Oh. You have to print it out and then fill it in with hands. All the, some of this information, you have to sign it. So some of this information you can't fill in other than by actually this. So make sure you go over that and fill that out for sure. Don't don't forget that. Right, right. Number seven. Complete. We're not doing a gender change, so what? fuck that shit. Um, <laughs> number eight. Complete if you're applying for a special certificate of recognition. Uh, we're not doing that. That's NA, NA, right? Well, eight was where we made the, uh, the, uh, you know, the note. If I, if I, if I recall correctly. No, this is part eight. That was part. That was eight. Question eight of the thing before. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're talking about all the way over here when we're over here. Yes, number eight. Yes, explanation cells, different names. So we're not doing this. We're not doing this. This is N A N A N A. Completed if you're continued. Uh, we're not doing address of foreign official, just N A N A N A. Um, USC, USI or consular official signature. Yeah, that's not us. That's not us. Uh, I can read and understand. Yeah, the interpreter named in part 10. We don't have that. The applicant statement regarding preparation at my request. The prepper, nope, we didn't do that. We can fill it ourselves. Applicant's contact information. You put your data and phone number there, mobile, email. Um, I understand what you say may require me to appear for. Yes. It's not going to happen. Um, I wouldn't worry about it if they did. You know, they'd probably come in to ask you some questions. You know what you're doing and changing it because of your beliefs in God. This is lawful truth, not legal advice. Um, and of course, you're going to sign your. Uh, the name of the Lord and then date it when you do it. And uh, we don't have anything of the interpreters that would wait. Uh, okay, so this is the output stuff that is fair to game. We don't know any interpreters' contact information and ANA. NA. Now, are they strict on on using the NA in the U.S. as opposed to Canada? Um, yeah, it's completely fine to put NA. It's understood. Uh, I, I mean, did they threaten to send it back for any reason? Like they uh, did. They're gonna send anything back that's incomplete, but they don't have that bullshit that the Canadians said. Okay. So, pretty good in that regard. Mm. Prepper's mail address. Prepare's mail address. Um, hmm. This is the person preparing other than the applicant. So, this doesn't apply to us. Right. right? I, I put N-A That's on 10. Just uh, once. Uh, uh, 10 and 11 is NA. You got all NA for 11, right? I didn't put anything in there. Prepare his family name. NA. All of it's NA for that. You don't need any preppers information there. I think one NA is good for instead of putting it in all the boxes, or should you put it in all the boxes? Uh, you you know, just put it in you, the first I one. Think. Should, but you don't have to. It's a preference. So if you just put it on the first one, it should be fine. 
None of those things. So what the fuck, man, right? So mailing address not applicable. Uh, and that's uh, what else was there? Some totals. You gotta include your long form birth certificate. You gotta include your uh, marriage uh, certificate document. Uh, I showed the. If you watch the. Uh, quickly show you the. Uh, do you care if I show them the? Uh, hold on, never mind. One second. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking. What am I saying? I should know better. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. And so, this is what we did for ours. It's just whatever you want to do to set up your own mer. There's no official thing. It's just you're letting them know that you're. You you know you're gonna be the bride of Christ, and you're changing your name. The only you know, mess up down here is hereforth. That's funky. It's hence henceforth is the word, but I don't care. It serves its purposes. Um. Uh. Yeah. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Um. Do they require the, yeah, you guys don't have any U.S. citizenship that you're handing in. But if you did, you probably would have to send that back with your, with your application. But uh, what else did we say? Certified copies of your birth certificate and any other things that you, you know, find along here that you could think of that you see along the way that you know might be on you might have some extra things that i have no clue about that you needed to put in here because you fill this out as it fits your needs so i just gave you the general how we filled it up for ourselves i urge you to all take the time and read this closely because this is something you're doing i just wanted to help people show them what we did to get you familiar with it but anyways, I think that's about it, unless you can think of anything to add, Tony. Not this time. Where is it mailed to? Let's at least go over that. Where is this mailed to? Now, I, I would like to mention one thing. Please. Where part 11, contact information, uh, for person preparing this application. Yeah. Now, if you're doing it for a child, yes. Um, would you would that be required, or 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 by way of power of attorney over the child, you're exempt from filling that eleven out? You're filling it out for your kid for sure. Thank you for bringing that up. What a great point. I just I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, because Anthony's filling it out for his kids as well too. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, for sure, uh, you got to fill it out if you're filling it out for your preppers as it reads. So, yeah, take a second. It's pretty no brainer. You know what I mean? So you get the rough indication of how we did it if you're a single bachelor for yourself. But, yes, if you're preparing it for your kids, absolutely take heed. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any outside extenuating forms to add with that. It's all kind of built inside this one form. Not like the Canadian add this extra form. Blah, blah. It's a little more bureaucratic in Canada. Now, when you sign this thing for the number part 11 signature of preparer, uh, you would uh, put power of attorney after that, or would, would that qualify? I the mean, name of the Lord. The, oh, okay. That's what we're going to sign everything as. The name of the Lord. And they're going to be already familiar with, uh, I guess, uh, huh. they don't, they don't know about your, uh, when you, um, what we're going to do for the U.S., because there isn't a real, like, letter of urgency, uh, but maybe you should do a letter of urgency, just like we did in the Canadian one. I would urge everyone to do a letter of urgency, just like we did in the Canadian side. Okay? So read the Canadian letter of urgency. Do the same thing, because it allows them, 
at the bottom to see that Colossians 317. Do everything in the deed in, in deed or in writing in the name of the Lord, you know, that that thing. So that when you are signing off here, it clicks for what you just pulled off there. What you're leaning on. You know what I mean? Not just like pulling this out of a hat. This is a real belief in God that obligates us to do this. So anyways, um, is there anything else you can think of? All right, well, I think that's a wrap. It's uh, pretty easy for the U.S. side. Oh, we were talking about looking at where to send this. Oh, yeah, before I... Uh, so, like, we were talking about the filing fee doesn't ca cause you anything. Um, there you go. For mailing informations, right there. U.S. Postal Service or FedEx UPS deliveries. These are the addresses. You do not have to pay that, thankfully. Thankfully, you are exempt. Um... Check this for two identical passport style photographs. Um, for each person? Yes. Your original, for each man, <laughs> your original document or certificate if you're applying for a replacement, which you guys aren't. You guys never had one. A copy of the original document. Uh, you're applying for or just trying to know. Uh, police report. I don't need that evidence of. Yep, uh, we provided the information ready. Evidence of legal change. We did it. Evidence of legal birth. We did it. We provided the uh, birth certificate and let them know on the explanation. You know when we explained it. That's in there. Marital status evidence. Yep. Copy of an original naturalization service. We don't have any of that for Amer in Americans that are born. But if you should, make sure you include that. No, uh, they, want, uh, they want two identical passport style photographs. Do they retain one and put one on? I don't know what they fucking do in the bureaucratic thing. <laughs> <laughs> what they need, you obviously get one. You know what I mean? They're logging away, taking a big photo album of the world <laughs> <laughs> right. somewhere. America's um, most wanted. Yeah. Filing tips for form N565. Application for replacement. Complete all sections. We'll, we will reject the forms in this field if they are missing... Um, Information about you, your family, date of birth, mailing address. Part two, type of application, basis for application. I don't get that. What is part one and part two talking? Oh, that's all part of, that's all part of N65, just making sure you have these things filled out properly basis for your applications uh filling out tip go to tips i don't know i didn't give a shit about going to check that out don't forget to sign your forms we will check any un unsigned forms cool special instructions yeah if you want to do that e-notification if you want to receive email or text messages that your format has been accepted Complete the uh, form G uh, and E notification, which is the same form. Uh, let's take a look at this bad boy. Uh, da, da, da. Just to give you a heads up that you got it. Um, wow. What a great little bit here. This is super simple to fill out. You know, just put the uh, applicant's your last name, 
your first name, the given name, and if you have a middle name, and then your email address and your phone number. Freaking fantastic, and they'll give you a little heads up. So make sure you add that in there. I thought we just discovered this on our own. He's Tony's about this, like I said, send us out uh, in the next couple of days. He's about to take the photo. He's going to get the religious headband because he wants to do this nice and tight. Um, but anyways, uh, may God bless you. That's the one thing we didn't talk about in these videos, the actual photo. Uh, I have my headband on in my photos. Um, but uh, I suggest you guys do it. Uh, it's not uh, imperative. But, you know, Tony wants to get it in the photo. I don't blame him. So anyways, um, may this serve the elect. And only elect. This is not legal advice. This is lawful truth for coming out of Babylon. American style. <laughs> Amen. Uh, what an idiot I am. 